Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to play a first of five with Heo Dago, who, if you don't know, is a really good arcane player. And throughout the set, I'm going to be constantly giving you my thoughts out loud. This is to give you an idea of what a top player might be looking for in the heat of the moment, and hopefully it'll teach you something along the way. Now, as you might imagine, this is going to be pretty fast paced, so don't be surprised if my words lag behind the actual gameplay and you, you need to rewind a bit in order to get the full scope of what I was saying. I'm excited to make this video because I think it'll be valuable for players of all skill levels. And to give credit where it's due, uh, I got this idea from Ginger, the top melee player, who has done this in tournament runs in the past. I really liked the idea and watching him do it, so I thought it would be helpful if I turned it into a video. So, let's get started. Alright, so me and Dogger are going to try not to repeat Sages, so we're going to do Stage Striking. We're both going to just strike Tempest, FD, and Truffle Pond whenever, you know, the loser has to strike the three. Alright, let's get started. So, first I'm just going to throw a Fireball, see if he runs into it, get him on fire. My biggest openings are going to be off of tech chases, like off of dash tech like there, and just coming in with a falling up air and there, and then getting a big combo off of it. Uh, so, I love going for up nair up tilt, like I did there, and keeping Orcane in the air is like a huge thing when you're playing against him. Uh, he doesn't have really good falling options except for down B, which can be really predictable if you uh, figure him out. So I'm just going to try and recover here. I'm going to try and be a little sneaky with my down B instead of going high, where he would have up aired me. I went a little low. I like going for shines a lot of the time and going for an aerial after the shine. He uses bubble. That was really uh, preemptuous of me. I should not have gone for that forward strong. That was a great bait. He had amazing drift. Um, but now I'm in the bad spot. So I'm going to try and down B ledge cancel. I missed it. He's trying to chase me. I'm just going to get a, a sour spot up there connected to a, a forward air. I place the fire down while he's invincible from his respawn. And then I go on the opposite side of the fire. So if he does chase me, he will likely be set on fire on the, in the process. Again, there's my... Nair. I got a, a Nair and I got a tech chase off of it um, and my tech chases are usually revolving around jab, f tilt, or, or wave shines. He read me going to the platform. I tried to get off it as fast as I could. His down strong barely caught me somehow. Okay, he went to the top platform. I actually went to up air. I don't know how I got up strong, but I guess that's what happened. Try and shine real quick, but he had a really quick recovery that caught me off guard. I'm gonna throw out a fair. Here comes my shine again. That one was risky because I decided to do it too late. Uh, down strong's a great get off me tool. If they whiff punish anything, uh, you can kind of capitalize on it really easily because it's a frame five move. Oh, I tried to get back air there and back air up strong might have killed, but I got a parry and I missed my up strong. I'm just gonna wait for him to recover here. Nice. I went for an air because usually everyone wants to go to the platform after they recover. Um, Wow, I was not ready for that Puddleus, the Orca Hup. That was really good. Okay, I got him on fire. I'm just going to go straight at him. I'm going to go for a forward strong, reading his wave dash back. Uh, just this tricky situation. It was kind of just a read. Or, obviously, it was just a read. Wow, good back air. I thought I was going to go for an upper, though. Go for a shine as fast as I can. DI away. I didn't live. Wow, okay. Now I'm going to go for a big opener of Nair here. While I had the chance. Um, didn't get it. His down tilt catches me? Oh my goodness. I can't believe I got uh, comboed like that. I was trying to think about how to, to talk about what I should DI there, and I didn't end up DIing correctly. I got hit by the sweet spot back air, so it was hard to DI. I couldn't DI out necessarily. Um, otherwise, I would have been in trouble. Okay, so I'm just going to go rock wall. I'm not going to think too much about counter picks or anything. Just going to pick stages. Fireball at the corner without moving. Since he's going to come in on me anyway, as the aggressor. Oh, we got a good back air. Oh, I, th I thought I had a great drift. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to react to his roll. Uh, with a jab. I like to get jabs whenever I can. Again, with the wave shine uh, tech chases. Really strong. Reacted with down strong. Since it's so fast, he's in a bad spot. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I did that down there. 
I picked. I don't even know what I meant to do, honestly. Uh, but he's he's a high percent. If I can catch him with a, a, a stray down strong or something that sends him flying, then that'd be great. This down B will help. Catch him falling with the down strong. Okay, now it's not too bad. Again, with the fire, put it on the other side. He didn't chase me this time, but then I knew he wasn't going to go in because the fire was there. And so then I went with the dash attack. That was basically my process. Kind of like conditioning. Alright, run back to the corner. Oh, I missed my Nair. Now I get my Nair. Go for a wave shine. Caught his tech out. Fireball. Get, get him with an F tilt. I should have done an up tilt maybe. We're, li we're not living. Interesting. Fireball. Watch his recovery. Do, or what's what he lands. Use forward strong. Alright, even game. Let's try and I was gonna say hold center stage, but he's moving around a lot, making it tough. Alright, fireball. Todd is landing with up tilt. Alright, nice. Caught him. Now I get a free punish. Jab that Oh! No! Jab F tilt did not help me there. I shined it immediately out of my end leg to try and, uh, oh no, he got me, <laughs> to try and uh, stop him from approaching, and I did. I shined him off of me, but I didn't get a combo off it, and I think I overextended, and so then I got caught, and he got a, a, an edge guard on me because of it. <clears throat> this time we'll go to, I guess I might, I'll just go down the line, catch his run approach with jab. Oh my gosh, his triangle dash avoided my shine. Wow. Okay. Fireball on the ground. He crouched it. <laughs> I don't know if he meant to do it, but he did. Alright, now he has to land. Oh, that was such a good idea for me. I just didn't get the execution. Down air, get a mix up. Up up tilt to up air should have been true in that. Especially with I mean with that DI, of course. Um, but I missed it. He's gonna be looking for me to jump. But if he misses me my jump, when he's going for the read, I can up air him just like I did there. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for an immediate up strong. Down strong? He was just crouching there. I don't know. He seemed to be waiting for something. Again, I place the fire. He's worried to some extent about crossing over the fire. Um, so I'm relatively safe. Okay, let's see what he does. He goes for a dash attack. We just wait it all out because he's being uh, too aggressive. Catches. Oh, we almost caught his jump, but we didn't. He keeps going to the platform, so that's why I went for the Nair. Alright, got it. The, the shine, F tilt. Just wait for him. Got a parry. I didn't mean to down strong him, and I didn't mean to down strong him that way. Alright, get a combo going. Fireball for his landing, and then Gatling, because he tech rolled in. Or he rolled in, one of the two. Parry the droplet, because it's the easiest thing in the world to parry. Always be ready for those. Uh, they love to come off the platform, the respawn platform, with a droplet. I just somehow missed it, and then I died for it. Uh, get the tech chase. And whenever you whiff a tech chase, they like to go for a dash tech. Four canes, that, are, that is. Um, so you can sometimes, if they're not on top of their whiff punish, they, you can punish them. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, caught his bubble butt. Shine him. He has to... Oh! He had to up B! That should have been it. Shine up strong randomly in neutral. I'm not going to explain, be able to validly explain why I went for it. Um, it was, I guess it was just that he's been dash attacking a lot on this stage. Um, and he expected me to do a fireball far away, so he wanted me to, or he was expecting me to be further away, and so I just ran in and went for a shine up strong, uh, since that'll light him on fire and get the kill for me. So, kind of went for a hard read there at the very end, but looks like I needed to, with how these games have been going so far. Alright, so there, I wait for him to fall, and this is like perfect for Zedburn, is you just wait for him to, to do his thing on the platforms, uh, and I fell with an up air, right? Fell with an up air. I just continued my combo, kept him off stage, 
and did whatever I could to get him on fire on top of the platform. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. It's very easy for Zedbrin to capitalize on these platforms because they just move, I don't know, the way he moves across them and the way his hitboxes work is, is just very good. Uh, very nice for his end, up air and there. So I'm just gonna play around him. And whenever you hit a fireball, it's very common for people to just jump out of the fireball hit stun. So that's what I'm doing as well. I'm, I'm hitting with fireball a lot of these times. Watch. I'm gonna do it here. Oh. Okay, I shouldn't try and showcase, I should just play. But it's very, very common. And you can take advantage of it. Um, to get easy jump reads, take their jump, and probably seal kills. That should have been a parry. If I was good. I nared after the fireball. I caught him, and I down strong hit confirmed off of it. I'm just gonna go to this platform probably if I can, fall it with an up air. That was good. I wasn't holding in. I was trying to down B or do something. Again, falling up air is so powerful in this stage. Um, caught him with a dash attack. Caught his jump with another fireball? I did not. I wanted to... Okay, okay. Let's see what he does. I tried to react and he just threw out a dash attack. He's crazy. So we're in a good spot here. He's going to go for risky things like that. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to parry obvious uh, things he throws out. I'm going to shine him. I'm going to throw out an aerial afterwards. <clears throat> um, and I'm just going to rack up the damage because I have a stack lead. <clears throat> and of course I'm going to throw out forward strongs um, whenever I get the chance. Because fast move, it'll kill, especially if he's on fire. Uh, after that zero to death, the first stock, it was... Sort of just playing the same game plan. He wasn't. He didn't play a good counter to it, which is baiting me. Instead, he kept going to the platforms instead of baiting my my off the platform game plan. So I just kept it up, and I just you know you're willing to take trades when you're in the lead. Oh, I shouldn't have banned Fortress, my bad. But yeah, I'm willing to take trades when I'm in the lead. That's what happened. I think he's gonna run up. I tried to dash tag. His dash tag beat mine, or mine just didn't come out. Whatever. Alright, tech chase situations, shines, f tilt, react, oh my goodness, he had a tech situation I wasn't ready for, I didn't know he'd be able to tech off of that. Alright, we're gonna go high, try and edge cancel. I went to the left? Okay, that was interesting. Oh, I missed my shine input. Shine, f tilt. Go for the shine down air. I'm surprised that my uh, down air missed, I think, or something missed. Good parry. Got a quick falling up air. Down B? Oh my gosh, the down B would have been perfect. It would have knocked him off stage and everything. Whatever, I got a falling up air. Go for the up strong hit, confirm. All right. Go for the, the basic, like I said. If he's in a tech situation. I'm gonna fireball instead of placing the down B. Fireball. Fireball. Oh, I saved him. Okay, that was the only way he could have made it back, so. The only way you could have made it back with no resources like that was to bubble butt. Turn around with down special bubble butt. That's why I went out there. And now we've brought the game back. Fireball falling. Oh, I messed that up. I messed that up. Oh, that was a good triangle dash. Okay, wait for his forward air recovery. Fireball. He's playing really, really aggressive now because he's probably scared since I brought this game back. Fireball, use the shine, wait for his up B, up strong. Okay. He got shined off of his wall jump, I think out of his double jump even. And so since I knew he had no resources, I went to the top platform. If I was wrong and he still hit his double jump, it was fine because I was on the top platform where I could do a falling forward air and cover his recovery option there if he orca hopped. So that was a clutch comeback, very nice. Just playing solid game plan. You're gonna throw a fireball up here because um, everyone just goes up to the top platform here. Just like that. So 
doing aerials that catch people the best, like lingering aerials such as Nair, are great for this stage. All right, I'm just gonna down strong them off so that I can put a fireball down. Same plan. Wait for him. Um, that was super slow, so I shouldn't have gone for it, but I still committed. Um, wait for him, see if he's gonna throw out bubbles. He doesn't. All right, then go back to the game plan. I'm just gonna throw out lingering aerials on this platform until it doesn't work. I'm gonna throw fireballs out on the ground now too, to even more mix it up. Wait, see if he lands. All right. Oh, I should have gone just for an up strong. Wow, he rolled into me. Awesome. I'm going to parry his falling aerial if he throws one out, but I missed it. All right. Don't go for anything too crazy. I should have gone for something crazy, I guess. He got out of my combo. All right, so for shine forward tilt, react, forward tilt, fireball. He's in place. I'm going to shine. I'm going to parry the bubbles. All of that was just reaction. Nothing too crazy. Down B here. I'm going to use my up B. Hit a sick angle. I'm going to go up above. And we're nasty with it. All right, wait for him to go on the platform, then throw a fair. Fireball down. I said fireball down. Catches jump. If he throws one out. No, he didn't jump, so he won neutral there. That was very good. Fireball. Throw an up air to see if he goes on the top platform, like I'm saying. Oh, he caught me going to the top platform. That was lazy. I'm going to actually down B up to the platform as a mix-up. Um, let's see what he where he goes. I'm just going to wave land on. It was a great idea. I just got caught, but it's fine. We made it back on. He wants to get a kill here. Um, so yeah, I just, I was gonna fish for a down strong to see if he whiffed, but he didn't end up doing anything. Keep him in the air as much as I can. That was a panic roll because he's in a really bad spot. Just follow him. Follow him up. Just combo game. I'm gonna parry. Oh, I tried to parry that back air since I thought it was kind of obvious. Wow. Um, we put so much pressure out that he just up -beat. So I wave dash across the stage, hit him, and now I got the edge guard because of it. Okay. Solid game. You saw the game plan. It was just see him go towards the platform, throw out a preemptive aerial so that your hitbox hits first, and then get as much damage as you can off of it. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go on F tilt. F tilt can cover both the droplet and if they do a dash attack sometimes. So throwing out an F tilt against Orkane at the start is can be pretty good. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna recover quickly here. He wasn't guarding me, so I felt perfectly fine going for like just a normal wavelength recovery. Or even, I don't even know if I wave land, I just fell to the ground. All right, wait for a dash attack, since that's what he's been throwing out. All right, so the game plan on this stage is just gonna be, when he's up there, look for up airs, look for F tilt, or up tilts. Um, and again, like, like fire capital, be willing to fall with up air a lot on the platforms. Go for these obvious parries if he's gonna give them to me. Oh, okay. Again, he came from the platform. I was looking for an up tilt. I didn't get it, but I caught his forward air with an F tilt. Oh, there's the up air I'm talking about. It's not only a tool for neutral for people, but it's like, it's their way of escaping combos too. Oh, I didn't have my double jump, obviously. Okay. See where he goes. He went straight to his puddle. I baited going towards him so that um, if he did go to his puddle, I could still punish it, and that's what happened. So I'm kind of looking. I was looking for a parry there since he's at kill percent. I'm gonna wait for him to do something crazy like that dash attack. Again, another dash attack. Nice. And we just reacted with where he went with the down strong. It reaches very far. Fireball where he is right now. Dash attack the ground. Oh, my jab missed. Nair. Again, he's jumping out of fireball hit stun all the time. Please be aware of it. Um, Zebran players. And even non-Zebran players. Like, 
stop jumping out all the time if they're capitalizing on it. You might not even be realizing that's how they're getting the openings. Oh, try and up B hit him and then drift back. Wave shine for the tech chase, but I wasn't ready for his tech roll in. Up tilt or up air falling. He's on the platform, so I go for the up tilt. He's gonna come in, gonna go for a nair. I even covered the platform, but he ran off. Um, just jump off. There is like, you're not supposed to tech all the time because or canes and anyone who has a fast, strong attack that can kill on the platform, like Sylvanas as well, Forsburn, love to go for tech chases on platforms and then what? They, they, they get their strong attack and you die because you tech and you gave them time basically to go up there. Um, so that's why I didn't tech and I just ran off the platform being where, where the situation. So I, I, I actually recovered from all that, um, which was just taking my time, using all my resources. I'm just gonna fish for four strongs or something because he's in a really bad spot. I'm gonna go for up bears. He's taking his time. He's taking his sweet time. So I can take my sweet time because I have more stocks than he does. Wow. Well, I have no resources. Just gonna ride the wall here. Hope he hits me and I could tech. <clears throat> I'm just gonna fish for something like a down strong because he's a kill percent and it would work. All right, so GG's doggo. That was our first of five. It was actually our second first of five. Uh, I was watching the first one and it looked like it had some background noise and a little bit of frame drops for some reason near the beginning, but I think I fixed it. So we played our second first of five. So let the record show. He actually won the first first of five, uh, three five um, in his favor. <clears throat> And then he was, you know, kind enough to let me do another one after I saw the errors. Um, but I hope you guys and you and gals, I hope you all enjoyed. Um, that's my take on the Zetterburn or Kane matchup. I played it a lot, um, and I hope you got the the gist of my game plan. It's cover there. It's well, first of all, Shark or Kane's as much as you can. Um, they don't have great landing options. And since you have, you're a Zetaburn and you have a disjointed, you know, shine, if you charge it, you can pressure them very heavily off stage, putting them in very tight, like they have to make a decision instantly situation that you can win a lot of. It's 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 sort of like a 50-50, but you're advantage because you're you're the one in control, right? So that's my game plan uh, off stage. On stage, it's tech chase with shine forward tilts. Um, with punish with down strongs if they're at higher percents otherwise try and get a fireball um, or a forward tilt to stuff out their approaches when you can especially if they're approaching with things like dash attack in there which aren't that disjointed uh, Zetterburn's claws you know really help them out there um, hope you all enjoyed let me know if there's a specific matchup that you know that I'm a good uh, a good I'm good at with a character like you know maybe Zetterburn Ori Edelis um, honestly, most of the cast I'm, I'm pretty high level with, so if you're interested in a specific matchup and, you know, it gets enough traction, maybe I'll do that one. You can let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks. Have a good one.